Hello and welcome to Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV and to another episode of Project Escort slash um, magazine reviews as we take a look at the 1990 uh, brochure for the new Ford Escort. So as we start this video, um, the model displayed on here is a 1990 Escort gear finished in radiant red. The new Escort. Ford announces an exciting new range of Escort hatchback, state and cabriolet models, all designed to bring greater driving pleasure and add a dynamic dimension to a product that fulfills all your motoring needs. With up to the minute styling, the new product has strong appeal, rewarding driving characteristics, generous equipment levels and proven drive lines. The aerodynamics styling also contributes to a smart, fresh appearance. The exceptionally wide range of three and five door hatchbacks, dedicated estates and a stunning cabriolet means that there's an escort with an appeal for virtually every kind of car user. Especially with our wide range of engines, with manual or automatic transmissions. First of all, I'm going to stop you there on the um, wide range of engines with manual or automatic transmissions. At launch in the Escort was the 1.3 um, HCS, which could be uh, dated back down towards the Kent in engine light. You also had the 1.4 CVH. Um, the 1.6 CVH and the 1.8 diesel. When this car should have been launched, um, we should have had the new range of um, ZTEC 16 valve engines, but these weren't available at time of launch, and Ford ended up using the engines, um, basically carried the engines over from the previous Escort, the Mark IV. Catalyst engines are also on offer and there is a wide availability of diesel power. The suspension arrangement is completely new, providing longer wheel travel for greater comfort and more stability for improved road handling and directional control. And even with a 125mm longer wheelbase than the outgoing model, the turning circle has been reduced by 0.7m. The new suspension and steering arrangement has also contributed to a reduction in steering effort, further improving escort drivability. The option of anti-lock brakes on all models, power steering on selected models, air condition on 1.6 gear 5-speed models, bring new levels of refinement to cars in its class. The command and driving position of the new escort has been carefully developed to enhance motoring pleasure and provide effortless control. New one-piece moulded front seats are designed to retain their smart appearance and supportive qualities and to be free of rattles and squeaks. A new three-spoke steering wheel is not only smart in appearance, but is engineered to diffuse impact in the event of an accident. Particular attention has been paid to the provision of storage space for documents and travel accessories with holders built into the glove box lid for a pen sunglasses, cups, maps and booklets, in addition to the generous glove box space itself. Though only marginally wider than the previous model, the new Escort provides 53mm extra shoulder with for front and 47mm extra in the rear, increasing the, the feeling of roominess inside the car. Exceptional provision has been made for tidy space for maps, papers, refreshments and travel accessories. And seat back handy nets and an underseat storage box is provided on gear models. LX models and above have 60-40 rear seat backs to extend to 380 litres of luggage space even further. All new Escort models are supplied with quality audio equipment and gear and cabriolet models can be specified with an optional compact disc player. A significant audio advance for cars in this class. Another first Ford is a standard fitment of an anti-theft alarm on all models. So at time of launch there was 
five trim levels. And it was popular, LX, GLX, gear, and then you had the cabriolet. And what, as I said, you had the choice of engines. You had the uh, 1.3 HCS, the 1.4 CVH. You also had a C, CFI, which was I think it was Catalyst. Um, just a CVH by Catalyst, possibly. You also had a 1.6 EFI as well. And your 1.8 diesel. So sort of standard equipment you got on the cars were you had an anti-theft alarm, um, you had grey bumpers. Uh, if you wanted quick, quick, clear heated windscreen and washer jets, you'd have to look at the GLX and gear specification. If you wanted central door locking, including a torch key, you had to go on, look at the LX and above. But I actually believe you got a torch key on the popular, the entry level popular. If you own, if you did have a popular, you had a just basically a, a electronic self seek AM FM stereo radio, no cassette player, uh, model two thousand and one. Um, if you went up the range to the LX, you got the 2005, which would include AM, FM, radio cassette. If you went to the gear, you got yourself a model 2007 with anti-theft coding and separate power amplifier. If you wanted a premium sound system, you'd get yourself a... Model 2008 with RDS, anti-theft coding and compact disc player. That was an option on the gear, cabriolet. If you went for a GLX and a gear in 1990, you would get yourself a rev counter. LX and popular. Um, basically done with a diagram of a car. If you wanted the uh, auxiliary warning lights incorporating low fuel and low fluid, that was only available in the convertible. As well as lights on audible warning it was also an option if you'd left your lights on. Which again, I think you actually did get that on the popular later on. Seats. Um, you don't only get split folding rear seats on every model bar of a popular. You get a lumbar support on the gear. You could adjust your driver's sight heat, uh, sight, seat height and cushion tilt adjust. You get storage nets on the gear. Um, your steering column would be adjustable on the GLX and gear and cabriolet. And you've got a sunroof on every trim level, but popular. You've got electric windows, uh, standard only on a GLX and a gear. So, colours and trims. The new Escort features a range of 15 body colours, six of which are new. So you've got Diamond White, Black, Galaxy Blue, Burgundy Red, Radiant Red, Wedgwood Blue, Metallic colours you got Mundo Silver, Mercury Grey, Aztec Gold, Tasman Blue, Matisse Blue, Verona Green, Magenta, Fernwood and Bardolino Red for the convertibles only. Black and metallic colours available at extra cost. So that's just a little quick video on the new 1990 Escort. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe at Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV. We'll be back very soon with a look at the Orion brochure of 1990. And I've actually got to say, looking back now, I think I actually quite prefer the Orion to the Escort.
Ooh. Well, we'll come back to that in a future video. But for now, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in a future video.